Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lillian. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm here to share my mini album that I have created with Scrap Diva Designs 3D Embellishment Book. So this is a flip through of the book just so you have an idea what's all the goodies inside. Um, if you haven't picked up this die, you need to do so. Go get it. Um, use my code to save 10% Lillian10. It is perfect. It is an embellishment book, but for today's share, I have created a mini album. I love mini albums. And so um, still continuing to use the Simple Stories um, linen, the Vintage Linen Market Collection. It's so pretty. I really, really loved it. And I really focused on the blue and the yellow this time. So and I did a little stitching only on the outside, but um, this is the spine, uh, really easy. I did um, four signatures um, uh, for the mini album, but as you can see, I did the stitching on all uh, three layers, or I should say three sides, um, and kept it really simple in the front. I use the flowers um, that come with the set. Ugh, they are so beautiful. Um, look at that. And like I said, my focal uh, colors, oops, there's a little hair there. My focal colors for this mini album were the blue and yellow, while the other collections, I think it's more the blue and the red. Um, these, um, I kind of stayed with the blue and yellow, but of course there's a red in there. But look at the cluster of flowers. I love them love the way they came out um and as i was creating this book i try to use all the chipboard thickers ephemera of the collection because i got so much um and then for the flowers i don't know if you noticed i used the three layer it comes with the large medium and small petal but i also did some flowers like these these and these they're all from the small petal because I wanted some large and some small just to do the clustering. And I think it came out so cute. So again, I did the stitching on the outside of the book. I didn't do any stitching on the inside because I was really focused on, um, you know, the pockets and everything that I was going to create. So as soon as you open here, I did a pocket here. Um, the the paper that I used here on the inside, I just re um, did the graphic here and I did a little stitching. I think this is the only stitching inside so I could put in um, this little tag set. Um, kept it really simple. I couldn't, you know, chunk it up too much. So really I just got um, a couple of tags from the collection um, and I added here. So I use a butterfly chipboard. Um, I added some of the enamel dots, added one of the ephemeras here, but I didn't do really much to the tags because I didn't want, I couldn't have it um, too chunky because I was going to, I'm putting it here. So, and so it's pretty sturdy in there that it holds it, but I didn't, I couldn't make it too chunky, which was very hard for me, as you know. Um, the first page is more of a decorative page. This is part of the collection. Again, it's, it's so beautiful. It doesn't need much. Um, one of the things I will say is as I was um, making the album, I was like so excited again the this die set and then of course the collection i was super excited so i was taking measurements of the album you know so i could cut my pages and what i did is i punched my holes but um and then my pages i kind of cut like a quarter shorter than the book which of course when it came to inserting them here they didn't fit so maybe next time when I do it I will punch the holes a little bit higher to the edge 
just so I could get more space, you know, um, a bigger um, page. But it still worked out well. It just, that's why it's significantly smaller than the book itself. I don't know what you think of that. But at first it bothered me because I was like, oh, I just, <clears throat> you know, I just wasn't thinking on the sizing there. But, um, but it grew on me. So anyway, so this is the first page. The collection is beautiful. I just added a chipboard. Um, again, you know, I, as I did this, it was to, you know, to put, um, pictures in it. I'm trying to look for a scratch paper around here so I could use to put in here. There we go. Um, so the first page is, this is, I matted it with this one, added some butterflies. And like always, I don't glue this. So when you put a picture you know, you have that. Um, this is a flip through where we could put a picture, journaling, return the page. This is either more decorative piece or we could do a little journaling. Um, here I did a little pocket where I added some of the um, pages, some of the cut aparts from the collection because they're so cute. And either you could add pictures or journaling. Another place for a picture here. I just love this collection. It's so pretty. So, you know, I did the pages. And then, of course, I went back and I decorated, embellished it, and decided where to use pockets. Here I added two where you could put pictures, pictures in the back, or journaling. Super cute. Um, this is more of a decorative page. I like the, the little phrase there. Here's um, a place for a picture. This is a hanging little star here. Again, I try to use a lot because I have a lot of embellishment left over. This collection has ephemera, thickers, um, uh, chipboard, clusters, just so much. Like I could do another book. <laughs> um, this is a decorative piece. I really love this page. My embellishment book, if you saw that, the front cover is this. So this is a place for a picture. I didn't glue this down that way. I could put it in, but the colors are beautiful. I just love them. So I did a little, little clustering here, and this is a flip. This is another place for picture. And again, even though there's red everywhere, I, I believe I really brought that yellow, blue, and more of the pink in here. But of course, you can't avoid the red, right? Um, but again, picture here, um, this is a flip. I was going to do some pop-up here, but I couldn't find anything. So I just left it as a, as a flip. Here's another place for a picture. And look at all these, all the collection comes with these as a package of all these sentiments. It has your chipboard, it has your ephemera, it has your, you know, your tall uh, ephemera with, uh, you know, phrases, just so much. So here I did a cluster, you know, using all of this, like tags and ephemera. There's just so much. So some of the pages I did it, you know, for decoration. Um, and I think it's so cute. Um, so here's one of the stickers that I popped. I added a little lemon here. Um, you could put a picture here. And here I did a little pocket again, because so much ephemera. Um, you could put a picture or journaling in either, either side. And then this folds out. And... 
this is part of their tags and that I added some of the tags here. Look at all this. And I use so much and I'm telling you, I could create scrapbook layout pages and another book. And then I layered, I used some of the flower ephemera, popped ephemera, some of the uh, brads here, and then this opens up even further. And I just added a little lemon here to kind of match the the lemon when I started. But even these little round stickers, I just added them in there. Just so much. Um, another place for stickers, I mean for a picture. Um, this was another, it did a little cluster here. Um, this is one of their cut aparts and I added, oops, I added a page there. We could put a picture there. And I added um, one of the flower ephemera or leaf ephemera, I should say. Oops. Picture here. Um, picture here in the, this, oops, did it get stuck? Oh, it sure did. This flips up. This must have gotten stuck. I need to remove the, the glue for that. So this is a flippy. And then there's this for a picture here. Look at so much chipboard and thickers. And I mean, I'm telling you, and this is a place for a picture. Oh, and this, I need to put some more of that um, baby powder so it doesn't stick. But so much, I had, so, again, just little pieces. I added them just to make it pop like this, like this, and then added my ephemera or stickers. This is another decorative piece. Lots of butterflies comes with the, um, with the collection. And then I have the sticker book. If you've ever gotten the sticker book on a collection, you know there's, oh my God, there's so much. So it had these strips. And what I did is I just, just put them down everywhere. Um, and then I matted, double matted, just to give it, you know, a little difference, um, you know, with the paper. But all these are stickers, all these all these um and this was just is another sticker so and then the back i just left it plain this is the matching in the front but um yeah i really loved the way it turned out i love all the pockets my little flippies a lot of place for pictures i'd even count them as we were going through it did you <laughs> but super cute what do you guys think i mean what a cute little album using scrap divas embellishment book i'm telling you if you have not picked this up pick it up because not only can you use it as an embellishment book in your swaps but you could create a cute little album that you just saw. I love it, love it, love it. It was the easiest thing to do. Get it before it uh, is gone. So thank you for stopping by. Again, I will link her website. I'm sure we all know it. Use my code so you could save 10%, Lillian10, and really appreciate you stopping by. I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.